The avalanche named Octagon is tumbling into the next German city on the 17th of June in Oberhausen. The 15th of April at the Home Credit Arena, Liberec. David Kozma versus Lukáš Siviec. David Kozma, po tom, čo celé roky držal titul šampióna Octagonu, zakopol, prehral v zápase s Kajkom Britom a teraz ho čaká nový level, nová výzva a možno to najviac, čo doteraz v kariere zažil. Tip Sport Game Changer. Kozma musí, zatímco Siviec, môže jen překvapit. Ta naléhavosť vítězství je občas tiežší než soupeř, od ktorého jak veřejnosť, tak diváci čekají bitvu. Já to nemůžu ale podcenit, já musím jít na max. David má neuvěřitelně atraktivní štýl. Mně nadarmo se stal miláčikom československého publika. Tady mají totiž všichni jasno. Dali mu nejstarší sousto a on musí postoupit. Tak vnímají soupeře Davida Kozmy. Ale právě v tom je zákeřnost tohoto zápasu. Polák není zvyklý prohrávat, Papillon není vůbec špatná organizace a on je jejím šampionem se skóre čtyři vítězství a žádná porážka. Jsem nejlepším fighterem v Polsce, důmně będę reprezentoval svůj národ, svůj kraj. Válča za Polské, pokaže polskou šíle. Lukáš by kludně mohl mít prezinku škrtič, protože tři čtvrtiny svojich superov uškrtil na zemi. David si musí dát velký pozor, aby mu Ostrava definitivně nezhořkla. Bojuji pro sebe, bojuji určitě pro svoji rodinu, kterou bych tím chtěl zabezpečit. Je to částka, která dokáže změnit život a já si jdu pro to. Jde po zvyčerstvo. I bude brutální. Komu se podarí zvítězit v prvom kole pyramidy? Bude to David Kozma a celá hala bude jásat? Alebo Lukáš Šivěc? A v Česku se ticho? Main event time yeah. here, Octagon yeah. 40 here uh, in the great city, the toughest city in the Czech Republic, Ostrava. Stepping into enemy territory is this man, the Polish warrior, nicknamed Brutal, Lukas Siemens, an unreal fighter, Luke. You look at his amateur record, 23 and 3 was that. Eight and one he is as a professional. He has never once needed the judges. All eight of his victories are by finish. Two knockouts, six submissions, and he gets the nickname Brutal Luke after a beating he put on one of his opponents. It was a title fight, and he left him, quite frankly, in a bloody mess on the mat as he claimed yet another title in Poland. Now he's stepping in here, unintimidated by the hostile environment, unintimidated by taking on the hometown favorite in David Kosma, and has made this statement, not just to Kosma, but to everyone in Tip Sport Game Chain. He said, look, I don't need the judges. I will never need the judges in this tournament. I want to finish every single one of my opponents in the very first round. I mean, comes in with that intensity, and he's going to need it against David Kosma, because that is the way you need it. You need to finish him. You, the decisions are going to be tough. And what we discussed about this fight, very, very fast starter, likes to come in hard, likes to finish. Cosma, the opposite, grows as the fight goes on, gets better in the second and the third round. So this fight is all going to be about the first round when he comes in here. If he could, could perform under the big lights as well, in a different environment, in a different country, like he said, oh, I'm not bothered about being the underdog, I'm not bothered about to being the outsider. Well, we'll find out, because it's an easy thing to say, and it's a very hard thing to do. Uh, fantastic point. David Cosmo definitely prefers those five-round fights. We've seen him grow into that and use that durability, that pace, that cardio before. But this guy is all about catching momentum early in fights. I've seen it many times in the fights I've watched back, back in Poland. He puts so much pressure on. He overwhelms, he swarms. He is a tsunami of violence. Looks to get it to the mat. And a submission expert with six of his wins coming by submission. But he punishes you every step, every position he puts you in to get you to the mat. He's throwing elbows, he's throwing knees, he's throwing big shots. And tonight he wants to put that Polish power on display in this cage in Ostrava. Final checks from Jan Gaboni before he steps in the cage. Very stoic appearance as he enters. Raising those hands. Raising the hands to zero cheers because he's fighting the hometown boy.
And just listen to that. Just look around this arena. Every single man and woman on their phones stood up, wanting to capture this moment, the energy, the warmth, the adoration for the hometown hero, David Cosma, former welterweight champion, the longest reigning champion in Octagon history. And the guy who has been in there, and then look at the tip sport game change, look at the fighters he's beat within it. Apollo, he's beaten him. Kurtesh, he's beaten him twice. Velichkovic, he's beaten him. He lost in the last fight right here in December against Brito, but it was the welcome and also the open arms in defeat that this city gave to him that really showed me the place in the hearts he holds, not just in the Octagon fans, but here in Ostrava. And you just said, I think anyone that's already fought in Octagon, he's already beaten. So they needed new faces, they needed new blood. And we've seen a lot of that tonight come through and a lot of new blood has won as well. So there's a lot of challenges left out there for David Cosma, starting with this man tonight, the Polish power. Yeah, and he also wants to rebuild his legacy here, losing that title to Kai Brito in the fight of the year. A fight which really showed the heart he had. There was many people complaining about the stoppage, saying it was too late. He was sat with Andre Novotny after the fight, watching it back, and he said, no, that, well, that was earlier. I had more to give. And that just shows his warrior spirit, right? And this is a guy who's come through adversity in his personal life. Grew up with like a stutter, a speech impediment, got bullied a lot. He is now the face of the campaign. There is a fighter in each of us. The bullying campaign that Octagon has launched and had great success with here in the Czech Republic. And since he has been taken and won those titles, been in those big fights, his confidence has grown, his persona has grown, and his stock has risen to the state now, Luke, where he can sell out an arena and he can put every single man, woman, and child on their feet as he walks to the cage. Even coming up with a loss. Even coming up with a loss. And he comes in here, and, and like we said, I think it's the first time he's had a three-round fight in three or four years. So it's a long time coming. Yes. And that's, again, the story of this fight is all in the first round. And Cosmo will know that as he comes in here. So it's going to be interesting to see the intensity that he brings, especially coming up with that brutal loss that he had against Kai Brito. Yeah, one of the, the factors that we hope doesn't play a part is the damage he took within that fight because, Luke, I mean, there was moments where we thought the fight was over, but he just kept fighting. And Brito, we know just how much of a knockout artist he is, what sort of power he possesses. But Cosmo, as soon as he heard about this tournament, was like, yes, I have to be here. I have to be the champion for this people. And I will prove, I will prove why I am the favorite in this tournament with my performances starting here tonight against Lucas Siviet. And you see it and you hear it and you feel it as he enters the octagon cage. The response he gets from this crowd is unbelievable. Ta and we, and Sorry, we have Luke. the tail of the there tape. There you go, tail oh. of the tape. You see it there, height and reach on the side of Cosma. One year, the younger and the experience far on the side. Four times the amount of cage experience for David Cosma. Let's get this one underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last fight of the evening. This fight we brought you in association with Fit For You. Prémiové výživové doplňky, které jsou nově k zakoupení ve všech prodejnách sítě TETA. Our judges, cage side, are Gregor Čepenik, Václav Přibyl and Clemens Werner. And the referee in charge, when the action start, is Gerd Richter. And now, this is the main event of the evening. This is the moment you all been waiting for, and that's why we all together, a proto všichni společně, jedeme! Bombi! And now, three rounds, five minutes for welterweight pyramid tips for game changer. Let me introduce you both fighters, and we will start in blue corner. He is 31 years old. Stand 177 centimeter tall, weight in 77.4 kilo. Represent Sportové Putavy, Kuzňa Formy. Putavy and the coaches in his corner are Rafal Kravčík, Pavel Boruta and Bartolomir Kovalčík. He has a professional record of nine fights, eight wins, 
seven finishes and only one loss. Champion of Babylon organization and fighting out of Poland, Lukasz Brutal Siemens. In the red corner, he is 30 year old. Stand 182 centimeter tall, weight in 77.6 kilo. Represent Prima Gym. And the coaches in his corner are Pavel Bechtold and Viktor Petrlík. He has a professional record of 42 fights, 30 wins, 21 finishes and 12 losses. Seven times Octagon Welterweight Champion fighting out of Czech Republic and for the city of Ostrava, David Pink Panther Kuzma! Gentlemen, you know the rules. Protect yourself at all times and listen to my commands. When I say stop, you stop. At heart, fight fair. Touch your gloves, please. Go fast and keep it real. Main event time now. Set and ready we are. Good Rick to the third man inside the cage. David Cosme, listen to the crowd behind their man, the Pink Panther. He in the black shorts, red corner, taking on brutal Lucas Siviec. He is in the white shorts, blue corner, me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. And it has been a crazy night tonight already, Luke. And you said it all hinges on how this fight starts, how this first round starts for Cosma. Yeah, and the, the round, the fight started by the crowd blowing off the roof of this place as they announced David Cosma as the most support in the building. I think, like you said, put every bum on every seat here for this main event. And the man trying to spoil the action is Lukas Brutal as he goes to the body kick, coming out in the southpaw stance, in those white shorts. Yeah, look at that. A man who's never been to a decision and claims he won't need one, won't need the judges in this tournament, as he's going to run through and finish each one. Yeah, he said, not just finishing first round finish as well, it's a hell of a statement. Oh, through the overhand right, Cosmo looking to close the distance, separate, so that's interesting for me, Luke. Especially when you see the size of Cosma, he looks huge in there compared to Lukash. I thought he'd like to close down the distance and tire out the arms. Lukash on his toes, moving very well, looking for his opening as he switches to the orthodox. Cosma staying long and rangy as well. Oh, stepping in. And it's in those close quarters. Siviec is extremely dangerous, Luke. Yeah, he needs to be careful charging forward like that. Oh. Wild left hook from Cosma. Yeah, we're one minute, 40 seconds into this fight. And now, I was going to say, without a takedown, and there you go, as I said it. Cosma with that, an effective takedown, change levels. Got it to the mat really well there, Luke. Yeah, timed it perfectly. And now Sivac has the butterfly hook on one side, elevated and tried to get Cosma off it. But Cosma, we've seen him here so many times. Very, very effective. Great top position, great top control. And difficult to deal with once he gets you here and got him here very easily. Sivac with a number of submissions. Usually works for them from the top position, Luke. But manages to get rid of that wrist. And manages to switch it to the other butterfly now. But Cosmo up on one leg to try and negate it. This is the type of start we needed to see from Cosmo, though, right? Because we talked about it. You mentioned it on the walkout. He used to growing into fights, having the time to do that with five rounds, but there's no time to waste in this tournament, right, with this three-round format. Yeah, definitely. And this, this allows him to build into it as he gets control, gets to feel comfortable, feel, you know, has great control over the fight rather than going straight into the fire early on because Sivic likes to start fast. So he's kind of like cancelling that out here just by controlling early on. Sivic trying to use, use that half bar fly hook, but he's trying to peel the left arm, uh, the right arm of Cosma. Foot on the hip, 
getting close to the fence now. Two feet on the hip. Could explode out of this position. Trying to oh. go high guard, looks for the leg. Oh, look how quick he switched for the leg attack as well, Luke. Utilizes that just to stand back up to his feet. Going low. Now he's on the front foot. Cosma dipping down when he throws that jab a little bit, Luke. He's got to be careful. Oh, but then, as I say, that, that level change, that forward momentum used against himself, Siviac. But finds a fantastic frame on the head, pushes and gets away, and, and has space and looks for his own takedown, gets a trip. Oh, my goodness, the referee down. Interesting fight. It's a bit strange style from Sivec. He's kind of falling over his own feet sometimes when he's striking. And he's getting taken down when he leaps in with that left hook. Cosmo caught the kick and then threw the right hand. Now piling the pressure. Listen to the crowd here. Raise the roof again as Cosmo pushes forward. Yeah, Sivic, to me, looks like he's struggling to find his rhythm against Cosmo. Can't kind of put his punches together. Then he just threw a kick and he got caught. You know, he's very stifling the style of Cosmo. He stands in front of you and just absorbs everything and turns it into an offense. How now here with the double underhooks. Got wrist control. Sivac gonna try and make some space. Maybe go for a judo trip. Yeah, he's super strong. That low center of gravity really does lay itself to that judo. But look at that, it's messy, but Cosmo still stays in control on gives the back. Up, gives up that whizzer. Nice elbows. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is heating up, Luke. Round one, done and dusted. It flew by. It did fly by, but I feel like Cosmo had unbelievable control throughout that fight. And Sivic not coming out as wild as I expected. I think, I mean, you can't l lose the step up in, in uh, just event that Sivic is having here. He has come from Poland being a champion over there. But my goodness, this arena is full. And these moments, some people shine under the bright lights. And some people, they really struggle with it. And when you've got Cosmo in front, you're bringing that pressure. I can understand Sivier struggling with it somewhat. Yeah, the pressure of a sold-out arena screaming for your opponent as well. It does affect you. Some it ignites, some it can dwindle. But Sivic was finding his rhythm towards the end. Let's have a look back here now. This is the forward pressure from Cosmo. It's those wild shots they need to stop. He's coming forward as he throws them, and that momentum coming forward just ends up with a takedown. Again, ducking under that for me was the way it switched it up, making those takedowns as easy as he could, even though Siviac got him back up by doing the level change as Siviac came forward. Here we see the, the wild, oh, we oh, run we... out of time, not see the wild elbows. But first round behind us. Yeah, round two set to get underway here. Octagon 40 in Ostrava. This, the opening round of the Tip Sport Game Changer, it will finish here December 9th. And I'm sure Ostrava will hope, will pray, will cheer on David Cosma, hoping that he will be returning here for that finale. Oh, Chutney lands as well, flush, spinning attack. This is more like Sivias. This is the wild style he's become renowned for. He just took him around. Just, just took, took him, him around. around. We saw that with Youngworth, though, as well, right? So now then, looking for his own takedown in on the single. Switches out. Oh, wow. Double, get, takes down Cosmo and gets on top. Beautiful work. What? Stay on top and has great control. What a way to switch this up, Luke, though. Coming out and just letting go, right? Yeah. And again, you've got to credit the corners. When you saw Youngworth earlier on not be his traditional self, then he had that minute with his corner. Came out, it was back to vintage Youngworth. Siviac now, this wild, unorthodox, crazy style that he brings. Now it's on display. Yeah, this is what we expected from Sivic. He's an extremely dangerous, unorthodox guy. Brutal, as his nickname. And here, big, big ground and pound shots coming down. Oh, he keeps firing these down, and we've got to say, with one minute, 20 seconds. Oh, sorry, the knee bar. Bar. oh my goodness. Has extension. Good work, though, from David Cosma. To end up on top as well. And now Sivier's trying to find his way back to his feet. Does so. Gives up the back though. Cosmo might kick out the legs here. Oh, dragged his man to the mat. Nice little elbow. And he's going to roll again. He's looking for the knee bar again, Luke. 
Again, unorthodox attack from the top, rolling under. He's still saying hook to that leg as well, keeping that left leg of his. See the way he's got the foot wrapped around there? And those unorthodox elbows again from the back. They just disrupt your momentum, you know, as the guy on, on, on holding on on the back. You don't expect that to happen. Very doubt you're going to get a knockout from there, but it, it stifles your movement and your thought. Crowd screaming, David Cosma. Maybe a switch here. Goes for it aggressively. He might get it. Look at that. Look at the effort he's putting in. Cosma trying to hold his man down. And then utilizes the space he created, though, to get back to his feet. And he's going to break away here. Big knee up the middle. What a fight this is. What this, a main event. This is the fight we expected. But Sivic now taking deeper breaths. Can he keep this pace up? for three rounds. Like we said, he's trying to get people out there quick. He's used to finishing these fights. Never seen a judge's scorecard. But again, he's never been in there with the level of competition. That is David Cosma, the experience. Seven times welterweight champion, defended that belt time after time against the best and the toughest competition. And Sivijic giving a real good account of himself. He is proving a handful in round two, Luke. He is, but he's also taking very deep breaths. Spinning elbow there, wild. Nice right hand lands as Cosmo comes forward, maybe trying to grasp hold of the neck. Oh, he loses that. it. Cosmo gets the dunk. Every positive action Cosmo has is received with applause. Applaud its cheers from this crowd in Ostrava. Now is when it starts to set in. The explosive energy going to be going away now from Sivic as we move into the final minute of this second round. He needs to get back to his feet, has, needs to explode out, get an underhook, get on all fours, try and search for the cage, do things that are not easy when you start to get tired. Especially with a man like David Cosman oh on top of you. Oh, God, yes. The Pink Panther, the pink blanket, as he is becoming now, just holding his man down, grinding him out. Fifty seconds left in round number two. And this is not, not just a physical battle now, look, this is a mental one, right, for Sivijic. Yeah, it's been extremely impressive in the early part of this uh, round, but now, on the bottom, trying to search for this Kimura. Going to be very difficult to get this. Maybe going to try and utilize it to get some sort of sweep or create some space. Only 30 seconds left, though. Yeah, needs to get that hand past the hip of Cosma to do that. That's going to take some doing. Trying to get onto his hips here. Cosmo could turn it into his own arm attack. Ten seconds left in round number two. <laughs> we have credited this crowd from start to finish, Luke. This arena has been full. And the anticipation has built into this fight for that man, David Cosma. But more questions were asked this time in Sivijic. He might finish in that bad position, but that wild style he brought in the early part of that round showed some success. Yeah, but can he keep the pace up going into the third? We know Cosma can. We know he can do it in the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, <laughs> how many rounds he want to do. But Sivic, this is uncharted wars for him now, going into the third round here in our main event. You can see how tired he is. And to have that wild style, that explosive, crazy style, you need energy. Yeah, you can see the corner there fanning him down. Final instructions as we enter the final round. Let's take a little look back at some of the action we saw in round number two, Luke. The unorthodox kicks and that jumping knee that just missed. Rolling knee bar attempt here from Sivic. And his own takedown here as well. Yeah, and this is him in the top position. And then he went for these leg locks, Luke, and that ended up giving up the bad, uh, giving up bad position. Round three, a smile on Sivic's face. Cosma touches gloves. We are underway. The final round of this opening round of the Tip Sport Game Changer. Octagon 40 underway. A spectacular night. A spectacular night. More drama to come as well as the eight winners will draw numbers to pick their side of the bracket and also potentially their opponent for the quarterfinals. Oh, right hand connects over the top there from Cosma. Uh, it lands on the way out as well.
Nice stiff jab. Fainted the, the level change. Sivic twice with the inside leg kick. Tries to faint in for that single leg. He's looking tired, Luke. Yeah. Really tired and starting to come on. More labor than his movement. And again, if you want that, you can see the amount of punishment that David Cosmo took against Kai Brito. He's not an easy man to put away. So even if you have that finishing power, that knockout power that we know Brutal possesses, oh. in this third round, when you're looking a bit fatigued and you've got to deal with Cosmo, it's a very, very tough challenge. Now the pressure once again coming from Sivies, but Cosma turning it around against the cage. Elbows have been key in this position for both fighters, right? Mm. Has that two on one. That Good wrist control here from Sivic. Looking into his corner. Trying to elevate the head. Again, two, two on one here. Oh. Good let go. Oh, nice there elbow. You go. Missed again. Nice little left, left hand. It's a real fight, this, Luke. Both having to dig deep, both asking questions, but... But that's the difference. That's the difference. Pushing off the fence, going, utilizing it well. Going straight for the Kimura, it looked like there. Sivies now trying to get the reversal. Yeah, a lot of urgency here. Three minutes left. Has that leg hooked on the left side. Uses it to roll over and escape, does well. In on the single, <laughs> to the double, hands clock Can together. he do it? Can is he, he going to take Cosma oh! down and he gets him down? How long can he keep him down? Big elbow from Cosma. Wow, what a moment that is. Digging deep, turning around, getting his own takedown. Maybe can go to the back here as well, as David Cosma leaves the opening with that wizard. Does so. Syriac, oh, trying to take the back. This submission expert looking to upset, take the momentum of the fight here in the third round. And this is the type of position he could do it from, Luke. This is where he's renowned for his control and his pressure. They're looking to try and sneak oh, that yeah. arm underneath the neck, underneath the chin of David Cosma. He's a bit high here if Cosma wants to try to oh, him he's out. He's working that under, though, Luke. This he's could be working tight. that under. Can't see from this angle, David Cosma grimacing. A lot of pressure That's on the neck. That's on the chin. Trying to silence the crowd here in Ostrava. Oh, Sivic looking to upset the odds to take out the hometown man. Cosma trying to survive. Looks like he will do, Luke. Yeah, he manages to shake him off in that tripod position and gets an amazing cheer here. He's got to watch the arm on the way down. And there we have it. Wow. Look at the crowd, look at the atmosphere. That might be the pinnacle moment in this fight. If Sivic cannot, Sivic needs to give it everything now in this final minute to leave, a, leave an impression on the judges. He almost, he almost broke that fairy tale return for David Cosma. You saw the grimace, it was across the chin though, Luke. He gutted it out and finally made some space. But still dangerous, yet still creating the pressure is Cosmo. And look at that, as soon as he establishes a position, the crowd roar once more. Great work from Sivic, though, to get the hook and look to stand back to his feet. Trying to create frames, trying to make space. But the blanket that is David Cosmo is unstoppable. Trying to get that cross grip, trying to get, get it, scoot his hips out. Needs to get off that elbow and be on the hands. Maybe going to look for a switch here. But now the, the breath, you see the demeanor now as Siviac as the clock ticks down into the final 10 seconds of this outstanding main event here at Octagon 40. The deep breaths, almost accepting it now, Luke. Understanding, he tried everything, he almost made it happen, but as you hear from the roar of the crowd, Cosma should have taken that, right? I don't know. I think it's a lot closer than you think because the crowd makes it sound different and maybe does for the judges 100%. as well. Yeah, but 100%. Sivic was the one who nearly finished the fight in the third round. So he had the most effective position. He tried to finish. He landed some good shots. In the second round, was come out wild for the first two, three minutes. So it depends. 
how effective was Cosmo when he had control? Not very. There are no moments did you think Cosmo was going to finish the fight? So, depends how the judges have it scored. It's a very, very close battle between these two men. Just look at how they're, they're both sat opposite sides of the cage. They left it all in there, Luke. There was talks in this tournament as we approached it. Would people play it safe? Would people sort of try and edge their way into the next one, get decisions? We have seen none of that tonight. And tonight, that fight, that fight shows exactly what it means to these guys. So, here's some of the highlights from that round. Nice elbow there from Cosman. He gets his takedown. Nice reversal here from Sivic to try and get the escape. Beautiful work from him. And then, then he gets in on this single. This is him taking the back here as well. This is the most definitive moment for me of the round. Very, very close with this choke here with the rear naked choke. Gets shucked off by the tripod of David Cosma. Lands a big shot. And you talk about the crowd outside the cage, Luke. And there's the numbers. Let's look at the stats. You said it. Look, all those punches. Siviac ahead, 63. Submission attempts, three as well. Takedowns, though, four to two for Cosma. Oh, my goodness. Very close. Wow. And it depends how you do it round by round. You know, because yeah. the first round, nothing really happened. Second round, uh, we had wild Sivic for two minutes. He landed some good shots. Third round, he nearly choked him unconscious. So it's very close. We will wait and see. Set and ready now to see if this arena will roar once more for their man. Or a Siviec upset the balance. Let's hand it to the man. The man with the main event results, Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges scorecard. So let's see how the judges score this fight. First judge, 29-28. Siviets. Second judge, 29 28, Kosma. Third judge, 29 28, for the winner by split decision. And the last place in quarterfinal Deep Sport Game Changer goes for David Pinkwanter Kosma. Davide, ještě chvíli počkej, myslím, že tvůj souper si zaslouží být první na rozhovoru. Lukáš, děkuji bardzo, spanělá válka. Jak uh, zmyšláš o té válce? V té chvíli nevidím viděl té války. Tam zarezekovalem vejště panouška, ale ale se spužněním s ruchem. David tam vybronil kolano, vyšlo. Mě bylo z toho čarnoč, potom fajně pošel do góry, zastal z góry, zkontroloval. To była akcja dla niego w końcu. Tutaj jestem pod wrażeniem wytrzymałości tej determinacji Dawida. Przetrzymał naprawdę długą Mateleo. Fakt, że to było nieczyste, ale było na takie brudne Mateleo. Weszło głęboko. Kurwa, przepraszam. Naprawdę jestem pod wrażeniem, że udało mu się uwieść. Ja w końcu z drewno wątpiłem. Może to była, to była przyczyna tego, bo zwątpiłem i chciałem przepiąć ręce w rękawicach do MMA. To nie jest takie proste. Pięknie to wybronił. Uciekł mi z tego. Potem został z góry. No. Brawo dla Dawida. O, brawo o, dla Ciebie. Dziękuję bardzo. Wspaniała walka. Lukasz Siwiec. Lukasz říkal, że to był ekstremnie ciężki zapas. Właśnie popisował, co się tam działo, że Dawid był nieprzyjemny super, który go wyczerpał. A na koniec Ci pogratulował k wyciestwi. Jak wielkie nerwy to pro Tebe było. Když jsi stál a četl jsem ten výsledek a ty jsi slyšel, že to je dva jedna pro jednoho z vás. No koukal jsem, jako čekal jsem, že jsem vyhrál všechny tři kola jako u všech rozhodčích, ale asi někdo to viděl možná jinak, já, já to tak nemůžu posoudit, když v tom zápasu jsem, ale nečekal jsem to, jako divil jsem se, byl jsem nakonec šťastný hodně, že to dali mě. Jak těžké to bylo být po deváté v řadě v hlavním zápase, po tom, co jsi tady před třema měsíci zažil, asi nejtěžší moment profesionální kariéry. 
Já už jsem na to zvyklý, já už si to ani jako moc dovím představit zápasy jinak než hlavní zápase, takže mě tohle sedí, když je prostě jsem poslední, celá hala řve, stojí při mě, mě to, mě to popohání dopředu a strašně mi to vyhovuje tady tohle. Je to neuvěřitelná atmosféra při těch tvých zápasech, dokážeš to vlastně vnímat a je to několik procent síly navíc, když ta hala skanduje tvoje jméno. Jako vnímám to občas, mě jako mrzí, že ne, nemám tu šťávu třeba dát více úderů, když ta hala řve a chce ty údery a má ti BB a já prostě jedu jako takticky, aby si tam zbytečně nevyšťavil, tak to mě mrzí, rád bych prostě tam ty údery dal, když ta hala chce, ale bohužel musí na vítězství podle sebe. Jsi věc byl nejpodceňovanější bojovník pyramidy, ale předvedl fantastický výkon. Očekávali jsme, že spustí peklo v prvním kole, ale přišlo to na začátku druhého, kdy tě několikrát trefil. Byl jsi v jakoukoliv chvíli toho zápasu otřesen a pod tlakem? Ne, vůbec jsem byl otřesen, čekl, jako, cítil jsem, že tam něco prošlo, ale s mojí hlavou to nebylo vůbec nic. A když to srovnám s úderem a Brita, které mě prostě posadili a vystřelili někam jako na Mars, takže tohle jako, cítil jsem nějaké údery, ale ne úplně, že mi to otřáslo. Nové dražší brýle. Znamená i novou dlouhou sérii? <laughs> to, nevím, jako posledně jsem prohrál, tak to chtěl nějakou změnu, tak jsem vzal aspoň na brýle. V každém případě to vyšlo. Nějaký vzkaz uh, divákům, komukoliv? Můžu si to zjít. Já bych jenom poděkoval strašně sponzorům, kteří, kteří stojí při mě a, a doprovází mě na mé cestě. Děkuji strašně moc Hot Pepper z Praha, moje, mojemu nejvěrnějšímu sponzorovi, který u mě stojí asi už 10 let nebo kolik. Dále je to Progressus, dále je to Petr Procházka z Varu, Usuši Lasin, Daboret, Čech Virus, další můj partner na doplňky, strašně mi to pomáhá, Montravel, Salvátor, David Herzina, kamo, děkuji ti moc, děkuji Marovi Šakovi, který tady sedí, všem strašně moc děkuji, hlavně vám, divákům, rodině a prostě všem, děkuji. Ještě poslední věc, ještě poslední věc, Vypadl Andrej, prohráli uh, vlastně Pirát a je uh, uškr, to znamená, zůstáváš jediným domácím zápasníkem československé scény. Za malou chvíli zveme všechny fanoušky na losování, které vlastně, nebo na to, jak vy si vyberete soupeře. Uh, bude to naproti hotelu, 450 lidí se tam vejde, takže kdo tam přijde s lístkem, tak ten tam bude a bude to sledovat. Sledoval si v průběhu celého večera, kdo vyhrál a máš někoho, koho by si zrád vybral? Koukal jsem, le, koukal jsem letmo, na zápasy u toho jsem se rozsvižoval, ale jako vím, jak to dopadlo všechno. Nemám ještě v hlavě, musí se poradit s týmem, s manažerem a takhle. Ještě vlastně děkuji mému týmu, pa, Pavlovi Bechtolovi, Petrlíkovi, Pavlu Pikante, to už manažerovi. Děkuji všem a ještě jedno jméno. OK, uvidíme to řádově do půl hodiny, vy to můžete sledovat na YouTube. Ružový Panter je zpět! David Kozma, dámy a pánové! Sivic said that it was a tough fight, but David eventually tired him out. The avalanche named Octagon is tumbling into the next German city on the 17th of June in Oberhausen. The 15th of April at the Home Credit Arena, Liberec.